Good afternoon. So often we're asked, what about Ash Wednesday? And what is the significance and meaning of the cross made of ashes that's placed on the forehead? Ash Wednesday is the beginning of the season of Lent. It's a 40-day descent to the cross of Good Friday. Now those 40 days do not include the Sundays that take place each Sunday during the season of Lent. During Lent, we spend time in spiritual disciplines, in prayer and fasting and preparation, considering the ethical weight of sin and the cost that it was had to be paid in order to understand freedom, forgiveness, truth, justice, and life. And so during Lent, during these 40 days, we prepare our hearts, we prepare our minds. In the ancient church, the season of Lent was used as a time where catechumens or people who desired to be a part of the church could come and study and learn what it meant to be a part of the body of Christ and a part of the movement of Jesus throughout the world. For 40 days, they would study and learn all about the Old and New Testament, the tradition of the disciples and the apostles. And then on Easter, they would be welcomed into the body of Christ. It was also a time where those who had been removed from the life of the church spent time in penance and prayer, consideration, and then after a time of full understanding of who they are in Christ, they would be restored back to the life of the body. So while Lent is a somber time, it's also a time of encouragement and joy and a time for us truly to understand the depth in which God loves us. Now, on Ash Wednesday, we will spend time gathering in worship and then we will impose ashes. The ashes are significant because they're made from the branches that were used on Palm Sunday last year. We remember Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem and how the people laid the palm branches on the road. Those palm branches are saved and dried over the year and then they're burned. We make the sign of the cross and we state these words. Remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. It's significant that it's made from the branches of Palm Sunday, because while we remember that we are dust and that we are mortal, there is life in the joy of Christ, just as he entered into Jerusalem on that day so many years ago. So when we gather here at Central this Wednesday night, we have prepared ashes, and we will impose them just as we have in the past, simply saying, you are dust, and to dust you shall return. We'll begin with a simple meal of stew and cornbread in the pavilion at five o'clock, and then move to the sanctuary at 6.30 for our service. I invite everyone to come out and be part of this service and begin your Lenten journey with other members of this congregation and truly be the body of Christ during these 40 days of Lent. During our worship services, we won't use any technology, and we're having a simple meal this Wednesday night. That's because we want to strip away all things and remember the simplicity and the call to celebrate a Holy Lent. I enjoin you to be with us for this Ash Wednesday service, friends. Everyone is welcome, but let us together prepare our hearts as we celebrate this season of Lent.